Ooh. Oh man. Do I have a video for you guys? This is by far my largest vintage haul on this whole channel. Crazy. What's up YouTube, Kyan back up in here with another video and today we have a crazy one to say the least. This is gonna be a compilation of like a multitude of titles that I kind of wanted to put for this video. So whatever it ends up being, you'll see it down below obviously. This is gonna be the best alternative to affordable men's fashion. How to build a sustainable wardrobe and why you should buy into vintage clothing in the first place. So my views on the whole thing, I think that you don't really need to consider consume fast fashion. There's already so many clothes in the world. We don't really need much more. Everything that you should be buying into should either be designer because they actually take care of their practice and it's uh, there's a history behind the house, let's say, or a story behind the garment that was created. That could be one way that you want to support it. Another thing that I believe in supporting into is vintage and thrifting, etc. just because you're buying things secondhand and you're giving it a new life. So expanding the longevity of the clothing that's used on our planet. Very important, of course. And I appreciate that plenty on this channel. And third, what else can you buy into? Small businesses, younger designers, younger, smaller YouTubers, brands, uh, smaller brands, anything. Anything that your your friends making, you see a, a younger creative making, anything like that. Those are like my top three, my holy trinity of things that I like to support when it comes to clothing in general. But one of those things that I really hold onto a high platform is vintage because it is so, so, so affordable in comparison to a lot of other things, yet you're getting things that are so distinct and individualistic at the same time for a fraction of the price. And if you guys don't know, a lot of these designer brands actually take reference from a lot of vintage pieces and recreate it, recreate it to their own light and make their adjustments where they need be. And yeah, fashion is a cycle. These things go round and round and everyone's pulling from somewhere. Everyone grabs inspiration from from different areas so nothing is 100% a organic idea or I feel like it hasn't been for a very long time so it makes sense everyone's inspired by something so anyway all that ranting out of the way the quality of vintage pieces is another thing they just made things with so much careful details back in the day and it lasts the test of time for years and years to come. And lastly, the garments that you're gonna be wearing are highly unlikely to be on another person. You're just gonna look very original as opposed to buying into a lot of other brands where you might bump into another person with the exact same thing on as you. If you care about that, this is a great option for you. So without all that to say, I'm gonna power through all of these vintage goodies. I wanna give a special shout out to every vintage curated account on either Instagram or you have a website, anything of that nature. I'm gonna leave all of their information in the description below. It's super important to support these smaller businesses because they kill it. All of these vintage accounts are gems and this is probably the best video for you if you wanna see the influx of vintage accounts that I feel like are definitely some of the best ones on Instagram or on a website, whatever that may be. So yes, all that information in the description below. Check it out if you wanna get some gems. Let's get into what I got. Starting off with some heat. First batch of clothes from Old Clothes Are Cool. They, or he, I should say, kills it every single time. He just keeps on getting better and better. And if you guys don't know, Old Clothes Are Cool actually gives some insight on his Instagram reels about the vintage community and just how you could get uh, become a part of it or just giving you some inside information that not a lot of people actually give in this community because it's kind of gatekept, but I really salute what he's doing. He's grown is extremely fast in the past couple of months and I, I support him full heartedly because I've been getting stuff from him from way back. So it's crazy to see his trajectory into this space. So it's dope. So let's get into the first piece. We have these beautiful flared Levi's, these super, super wide pair of Levi's denim. And what makes these so special is actually, this is right before he believes he told me this. Hopefully I'm not butchering this, my guy. But he told me that this is right before it could have been a big E just because of some of the details that he pointed out. It actually has a talon zipper actually has a talon zipper. Hopefully you guys could see that with the focus. And it is a pair of orange tabs. 
distressing all on the back bum. I know I said I wasn't gonna get much Levi's after that Levi's video, but just the flare on these is too good to not pass up, you guys. Like another cool piece of information about these pants that he had told me is that he believes this is the original reference that Capital used for their patchwork denim that everyone lusts over. I believe Sanj actually picked them up not too long ago with like the dramatic hippie-ish style flare denim that they do. The original reference was actually this pair of pants, so that's pretty cool to see. I just love these this pair, man. It's so cool, so distinct. I haven't seen many people with a pair like this that is a pair of Levi's. Normally it's either like an Instagram brand or it's Capital. So, so both of those are definitely on a higher price point, but this really affordable for sure. Next, a pair of pants that I've been looking for for so long, a pair of military fatigue pants. Haven't been able to find my size just because every time they're either on eBay and I don't want to gamble the fact that they might fit me but this whole vintage game is a gamble you don't really know what's gonna fit until you try it so that's why i recommend going in person if you can but with these he pretty much knew my sizing so it was a win-win the only thing i would change about these if possible was if the bottom was like slightly wider just because the leg opening's a little short i mean a little um slimmer than i was imagining it to be so i'm contemplating opening up the inside and adding us like a semi inside flare just so that i covers over her shoes a little bit better, but I don't want to d damage the integrity of these pants because they're like untouched or original OG 107s. And yeah, they're marked a 36 by 33, I believe, 35. And they fit me like uh, a 33, 32, I would say, or 34, something like that. Anyway, they fit me, so that's what matters. And I wear them with a belt and they're perfect and the wash is amazing. Very big Visvum vibes, etc. for a fraction of the price. Can't beat it. On to Palmo Vintage. This is an example of what you could get out of a vintage store. Like one, one that you can actually walk into. Very, could use that to your benefit because making sure that things fit you in a changing room is such a plus. If you don't know your measurements online, I recommend you guys learn your measurements just because it makes shopping for clothes online a lot easier instead of having to return stuff. And with vintage stuff, it's all from smaller boutiques. So I doubt you'd be able to return anything. You know what I mean? So this is a great option for you guys if you guys have it accessible to you so these are a pair of they look like they have the same pockets of the fatigues obviously but they're another pair of military pants some camo pants throwback to when everyone was wearing camo pants they never really partook in that era but we're bringing them back in our own way this just gave me a friendly reminder to the pair that i saw from gallery department not too long ago where they added their own flare detailing at the bottom but these are just a perfect straight leg they hover over my shoes ever so nicely the back pockets are huge really great i'm not a huge huge cargo i mean not a huge camo guy but these were a great exception just because i feel like i could style them pretty nice and not as cringe let's say so next piece from palmo goods we'll see right oh, almost fell <laughs> next piece from palmo goods crazy crazy varsity jacket this is more on the oversized tip love the color man color on this piece is beautiful purple yellow but like more of a golden yellow so vibrant the colors back in this day man like incredible and a nice chain stitch on the back i just never i didn't have anything super vibrant for a varsity and meg's actually talked me into getting this just because i had some credit for a shoot that i did with palmo and it was only it was cheap i don't want to say the price but it was it was really affordable for what it was she believes that this is a 1980s one just the chenille was so nice great quality good raise to it and the quality of the leather is just stiff everything top notch top notch going through it okay Okay, so the next bunch of stuff I believe is from Dusted Garments. Nice, nice, nice little card right here. Gave me a little thank you note. Appreciate that, my guy. Dusted Garms, check it out in the description below. They sent me some fire pieces. I'm gonna show you right now. He knew I was Canadian, so he sent me a little Canadian vintage tea. Pretty simple and plain. Nothing too much to say about it. Just a funny little graphic. Canada, old Canada. A hey, bud. So. The next one, I'm flying all over the place here just because I have so many pieces I have to chuck through. But this little chore jacket, I want to call it. I don't believe that's the exact term for it, but I just want to call it that for lack of better terms because it reminds me of that. Longer cut 
not as cropped as my normal silhouette so just to break it up a little bit this is the it even says it's the long variant but just a nice blue military oh, a nice navy blue color to it it's very powdery in some lights but it holds a lot of its vibrancy you could see the different wash to it this was like the original color after the patch was removed but yeah just a great simple piece can't really complain at all the last piece from dusted garments is this early 2000s pair of Levi's 505s this is a 32 by 34 the patchworking detail on the legs is really nice something that I don't really have out of the Levi's that I currently own and I like just the patching that he did the reverse denim like you flip the denim inside out to patch it just so that there's a bit more of a cat contrast but yeah great wash to it if you guys are with it let me know tell me <laughs> 505s are a great fit if you're into like something a bit more modern in comparison to the 501 but beautiful nonetheless so now we are on to prime vintage shout out to dusted garments i appreciate it i'm going through every vintage account under the sun right now <laughs> This is a varsity jacket he believes is from the 60s. Beautiful, distressing all over the arms. It reminds me a lot of the varsity jacket I got from Unsound Rags right here with this like pistachio green leather arm. Obviously, I think it started as white, but like the dye like slowly started to fade onto the arm, which makes it such a unique washed out color obviously because it i think because of the year in which it was produced like when it's like 50s 60s the colors just start getting super super tarnished in a beautiful way if that makes sense so yeah just lots of character and all of this and the body of it is like this woven material really cool and then it has that teal contrast stitching i mean contrast de detailing in the ribbing of the garment and it just looks like it's gonna fit really well i love the details and i love plain varsity I don't, I, sometimes you don't really want all the random like random names and chenille all over you just want it simple and plain so that's very wearable so that's sometimes my vibe you know <laughs> okay now we get into the you know the head honchos of the game unsound rags shout out to <laughs> shout out to fernando and the whole team over at unsound rags tie included I appreciate you guys so much. I was doing late night vintage shopping, which is never good. I was just in my bed, scrolling, scrolling. And then my heart was like, let me go on to Unsound Rags just because I haven't been on it in a really long time. And then that turned into a FaceTime call with Fernando and we're here today with a crap load of clothes. So let's get into it. We first have this Phillies cap this uh, trucker cap which, this is so nice because it's like a 80s logo for the Phillies so it's a bit more unique I believe this might have started out as white and now it's like a gray unless it actually is gray I have no clue but it's old if you guys don't know I was born in Philly but I live in Montreal now so this is really cool inside rags little tag very professional of them anyway Untown Rags tag, you see it. This right here is probably one of, if not the favorite piece of this video from, there, there's one other one that you're gonna see, but this one right here, this one right here is dangerous. We might have to get a little hanger for this one. Not gonna lie. This is a gray zip hoodie from the 80s, but the crop on it is just so beautiful. Insane details and it's a nice worn in French Terry. And what I love about it is just the way it's swoops in the back perfect like curvature right here and i don't know if that happened over time or if it was like naturally designed like this but this is a great example and the drop shoulder beautiful beautiful this is a great example of knowing your measurements like i saw this online i was like this might be small but based on the pictures it just looked super wide and that's exactly how i like my things to fit like super wide and cropped and i was like this is gonna hit like i have a great idea and even ty from unsad rags comp like contemplated if it would fit me just because of my sizing but then he threw it on he's like oh shit it fits so this right here a gem love this piece like definitely one of my favorite vintage pieces out of my whole collection can't say enough good things about that one he chucked in this piece from Untown Rags's collection of Russell Athletic Crewnecks. He knew I was a part of the Yellow Gang, both Ty and Fernando, so they checked this in. Beautiful little Russell piece for the Yellow Gang. Shout out to y'all, man, repping to death. So nice little wear into it, good character, and Russell blanks are always just super solid. Uh, can never go wrong, and they go for a reasonable price if you wanna have some introductory vintage pieces. I recommend this, for sure. Okay. Ooh. 
All right, now we're on to Akimbo Club. Akimbo Club sent me a fat, fat package. So salute to Akimbo Club and every other vintage dealer in this whole video. But this one, there's one piece in here that's just insane. But Akimbo Club, Akimbo Club killed it this time. So I really appreciate him. And also he's a newer account. So I would love to show some love to him. Y'all go over there, check it out. You won't be disappointed. It's some fire over there, okay? So this is the first piece. I couldn't tell if this was a black or a navy. You guys tell me on camera what it looks like. I think on camera it's pulling a navy. But you tell me if I should dye this black or not. Because I feel like the fit is just so perfect. But I'm not a big navy guy. Especially when it comes to crewnecks. I'd rather it be black. Because it's just a bit, a bit more wearable to me. But you guys tell me if it's worth dyeing. Or I should just keep it as is. I don't know. I think it's nice as the color right now. But I just wish it was an actual black. Because it's like almost that eye eyesore type of in between navy and black. I don't know if you guys get the same way. But I get irritated when I can't distinguish the two you know so all that to say i might die this thing but you guys let me know in the comments if i should or not if i if i hear a lot of you guys saying i shouldn't i won't touch it <laughs> the fit is just oh so beautiful on that one though i i can't i can't anyway on to the next one beautiful simple white tee single stitch these vintage ones you really can't get enough of them because they're paper thin amazing quality you can't really duplicate what they did back then nice little single stitch right there and yeah, man, just great quality. Can't really go wrong. Can't say too many good or bad things. Can't say can't say too many bad things about a piece like that. Next one. <laughs> Gray, simple pocket tee. Nice and boxy. Great fit. Just a nice heather gray tee. Good to just chuck on in the summer. Can't go wrong. Great little essential. If you guys aren't with the whole Uniqlo wave, this is a good option for you. I like Uniqlo. I also like this. There's a bunch of different options for basic tees if you need that in your wardrobe. Vintage is another option for you. Now, these hoodies, zip hoodie, and a nice little forest green. I just feel very luxe when it comes to colors like this green right here. It's like this emerald cross with a Kelly green just together, man. It's really nice. It's marked the size large, and I've never seen that tag before, but quality is insane on this. You could just feel it, and it's like super boxy, wide shoulder, raglan cut, green little zip hoodie. And you guys know I'm a big fan of zip hoodies. The Even the zipper is kind of unique. I haven't seen anything like this when it comes to the details, but yeah, beautiful little piece. Can't complain with this one. Now this one right here, this one's the showstopper for this video, all right? You guys ready? I don't think so. <laughs> This one right here, I'm trying to be delicate with it because it's so crazy. Like this is the type of pieces that like a lot of these new up and coming brands try to reference, including like, like a Yeezy, especially with the tones in which these pieces come in. Like mimicking it is what a lot of people are trying to do right now, especially with like the garment dyeing, the item dyeing, anything like that, enzyme wash, potassium wash, sun fading, all of that, they try to emulate this right here. This is a hoodie from the 50s and I don't have too many true vintage pieces like this that are from the 50s. The cut that they used to do back then is just insane. They have this interlock stitch at the top. Beautiful little stains on the front and I just love this little piece right here. Someone patched the inside of the hood because there was like a tear for some reason and there's a little tear out here too. It's pretty jokes. Pretty funny. They tried to save this hoodie as much as they can and for real, for real. Like, look at that. I need something, someone to touch it up though because I think it's like tearing again. I don't want it to like fall apart, but I also don't want to like disrupt the original pattern for it. But I wonder how this is going to fit on me. I haven't tried it on because I've been kind of scared, but I shouldn't be scared because it's lasted fucking a bajillion years, obviously. So can't baby it. I really can't. I have to wear it. Beautiful color though, man. Crazy color. You don't see stuff like that every day. Like pieces from the 50s. Like what? It's insane. Now we have, we have the last package from Obsolete. I really appreciate, I appreciate the team over at Obsolete. Shout out to both of you guys. Y'all sent over a really nice little package right here. This is a Ford trucker. Really dope when I'm trying to get my Americana on. Might chuck that on. Then we have this religion tee. If I'm feeling a little risky, might have to do it to him. Simple and plain, all white. Nice little graphic tee, can't go wrong. And then this, I'm not too well versed with champion, champion tags because I know a lot of true vintage dealers are fanatics when it comes to tagging, but this is the tag. And it's this short sleeve U of W. It's almost like the same material of like a hoodie, like a cross between like a light hoodie 
but it's a T. So pretty interesting. I wonder how the cut is gonna fit on me. It looks like it's gonna be a little short, but that's nice. Good little 80s moment, it feels like. Almost that type of era. And the last one is these Russell. I think these Russell. Russeller. Russeller gray denim. I don't have any gray denim at all. And these fit really nice. They fit similar to a 501. Just a nice little straight leg, distressing on the bottom, and a nice little simple pockets. No extra little fluffing, fluffy details on the back pockets. Just simple, plain, nice wash. What more could you ask for? That was 30 minutes, damn near 27 minutes of yapping, vintage, holding. I'm dreading that I have to try on all of this stuff right now after this video. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. All of the vintage accounts are amazing. I love every single one of you guys. You guys are killing it. And you guys are providing a great alternative to fast fashion, especially right now in a space where there's so many larger companies overproducing and like, it's just not a great thing. So it's either support smaller businesses like these vintage accounts or even newer younger designers or designer or like actual larger designer houses if you are into that stuff and you could afford it and you like to give your money to that lane of fashion i support that as well or go vintage heavy thrift do what you want to do i support all of those three those are like my three almighties right there so yeah i appreciate you guys stopping by the channel once again i really appreciate it both the sellers and you guys you guys are You know, like that. <laughs> I'm feeling loopy because of how much I filmed just now and how much I've been talking. I feel like I've been talking to a camera all day. So I'm gonna check out of here. Make sure you guys like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the boy on Instagram. G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E -E is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently. I post fit pics, this and that. So that's what you can check out on there. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Peace.